my name is James Morris. I'm a, a gen operator for local 399 and 40. And uh, today we're testing the J250 and we're really just trying to get a baseline of um, how much power each of these lighting systems use and the kind of duration we can get with this generator so we can inform customers on how long they can run the lights, what lights they can run, and other questions that we constantly get. When it comes down to it, the, the major question is, is what can we connect to it and how long will it go? We can calculate that by what the, the manufacturer says the, the amperage draw is, but the only real way to know is by being out here testing the lights. This has a maximum output of 100K, and it actually has some overload capability built in there. So those are 40K lightning strikes, and they simulate lightning on a show, and we're, we're about to test two of them at once, and we're gonna see what the peak amperage draw is when it's actually striking the actual duration of that draw and, um, and if we can, we can handle it. So we're about to find out. This is the first time with lightning strikes. We've done uh, some smaller sets with like 18Ks and uh, some of your smaller lights, which, which we got really great results from. Um, but now we're gonna kind of go through the list of, of lights that are available and, and get more data. One, it's on right now, and you can see how quiet it is. We're right next to it. So um, obviously they're, they're impressed by the sound output. We can run it indoors because there's no emissions. So we're running way shorter cable runs. Um, we're able to be right next to the set. You know, I mean, there's just a bunch of advantages that, uh, that we're finding. handled all the lightning strikes and all the different uh, uh, paparazzi lights and, and all the different versions of that uh, all the way up to the 70k. We didn't try anything beyond the 70k just out of safety but um, even with the 70k it should be able to handle about 8,000 strikes before it kills the battery. So today we started at 99% capacity and we're leaving at 91%. Capacity. So we didn't uh, we didn't really use much of it. We also ran a, a 25k soft sun and a 50k soft sun, and we found that the the 25 we should get about six hours, um, six hours of constant use. The 50 we'd get about three hours, a little more than three hours. We didn't have any failures or faults or anything like that. It really just came down to how long would each light last at, at full output. But everything looks pretty good right now. Especially if you start dimming them, you're gonna get a lot more life out of them than those numbers. But that was all at 100% out, output. I think everyone was pretty impressed overall. Mm -hmm. 